this is the Milwaukee router. What I've been doing is setting the router on the jaw horse and making this into a little router table. With the M18 chainsaw, actually the Milwaukee chainsaw, I milled a piece of ash just for fun to see if I could do it with that tool. And then I ran it through the planer to make it smooth. And I did two pieces. And with the other piece, I made this little router table. It's strong, it's what uh, Louisville Slugger uses to make their baseball bats. But I'll show you how I set this up because it ended up working out. All right, first what I did is I had to take this plate off. And there's four screws. With this ash board, I routered out the shape of the router. And then I drilled four screw holes into the board so that it fits over there. And then all you do is put the screws in. I made this the same size as the width of that plate so that the screws fit into the tool the, the same way. Now we have the router table and you can tell it's pretty solid. The jaw horse holds the tool really well. For the fence what I did is I routed out a little slot here on this side and then I used I used a 4x4 just because it's what I had and it was already square. I just planed it down so it was smooth. And then I inserted this with a little wing nut so it slides back and forth however I want it. All right. And then for this side, all I have to do is just clamp it down. And you can clamp it wherever. And make this tight. And you have a solid, solid router table. With this setup, this is plain and this is plain. You can see that that's, that is square all the way across here. I'll show you the router table in action. So I was obviously taking off a lot of wood on that one. But you can see there's a lot of dust. So for the dust extraction, this compact router comes with the a dust extractor. So I just uh, connect that onto here. And I don't, I don't bother screwing it in because it kind of stays in place. And then you can see over here, so I just stick this right on here. You'll be able to see how well this uh, dust extractor works. The difference there's uh, no dust and then the other thing that I did I created this little pin all right so I put a, a little hole here and I chamfered the bottom so that it slides in really easy so I don't really have to search for it blindly and see it's just a piece of plastic with a hole in it that little pins helpful to stabilize the boards when you're routing or routering I'll reset it. So, to store this pin, to store this pin, all I do is put the nut in it. I'm sure people out there can think of better ways to do this, but then I drill the hole with a little quarter inch hole way at the bottom to hold the bolt in place. I could imagine all the bits being stored up here, I suppose. That's it. If you have any questions, leave them below. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps someone. Bye. And now he's living the life for Riley.